Today's lesson is 8.2, Arrays and the Expanded Algorithm. The objective that we are using today is that you will use an expanded algorithm to multiply two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers to find the product. We're going to continue looking at our box diagram and try to connect what we use on our box diagram that we learned about in our previous lesson with what we've been learning about expanded algorithm when it comes to multiplying two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. The problem that I would like for you to write down in your notes today says that there are 11 players and five substitutes on a professional soccer team. How many players are there in all on 15 total teams? Well, the important thing I'm noticing here is there got to kind of pay attention to a couple things. There's 11 players on the field, and then there's five subs who are waiting to go in. So we need to first of all figure out, well, how many total players are there on one team? So on one team... I've got 11 substitutes in, or sorry, 11 players on the field and five substitutes. So there's 16 players on one team. So I'm looking at 16 players on each of my 15 teams. So I think that means I'm going to be multiplying 16 times 15 today. Well, in your notes, you should have a box diagram much like this one glued in. If you did not get one to glue in, go ahead and create this box yourself. And we're going to label these sides with the numbers that we are multiplying. So today, we're multiplying this side, which if I look, think about breaking apart, this side would be the 15 that I'm multiplying, and this side would be the 16. So the original multiplication problem I'm starting with was the 15 times 16. So again, with this, for right now, I want you to make sure that you're actually writing in the numbers that you will multiply together. So in this first box, I'm multiplying what I have here and what I have here. So I do 10 times 10, which equals 100. Then I move over to this side. My five's not centered to this side, but the five goes on this side. So I have got my five times whatever number's on the outside here, which was 10. Well, five times 10 was 50. Now I'm going down to this one. So I have my six times whatever number's up here on the top which was 10, so I have 60. Now, this one always tricks people, but again, just follow what number is on the top up here, which I see a five, times whatever number is over on the far side over here, which was six. Well, we know five times six is 30. Now, thinking to yourself, what do we call each one of these numbers in my box diagram? I'm hoping you just said partial products, and with partial products, we always add. So I need to add 100, plus 50, plus 60, plus 30. So I'll be taking care of that right now. I'm going to switch my colors. So I've got 100 plus 50 plus 60 plus 30. Okay, hopefully you're taking care of that in your notes as well. I'm going to write my answer over here because I ran out of space. Hopefully you did not. So 5 plus 6 is 11 plus 3 gives me 14. Carrying my 1, I have my 1 plus 1, so I end up with an answer of 240. I do like to see your final answer written similar to this right here, where I have my original two numbers before they were broken apart, and the answer. Now, our box diagram actually relates to what we would do in expanded algorithm, which is what you see right here. So expanded algorithm, I check out each one of the place values, which is just like the box. Okay? So in this first one, I multiply everything times the 5. So just like I told you before, I want you to write down the problems that you're going to use to solve and find the answers to this spot over here on the outside. So 5 times 6 gives me 30. So I take my 5 times the 6 right above it, and that's where I got that answer. That same 5 that I'm working with, I continue with that one. So I do 5 times not just a 1, but the 1 in a 10's place, which is where I get 5 times 10, and I wrote down the answer of 50. Then I move on to multiplying everything times this 1, but again, not just a 1. This time, I'm looking at that as place value. And if you remember when we did expanded form with um, everything times a 1-digit number, we still did the same thing. We multiplied everything times a specific place value. So right now, I'm doing that same thing again. This 1 is not a 1, it's actually a 10 because it's a 1 in the 10's place. So I do 10 times that first number in the 1's place, which was 6. Then I do the 10 times the number that's in the hundred, or sorry, the 10's place, 
the six was in the ones place and the one is in the tens place hopefully i said that correctly and then again i always write my answers over here and then we add all of these together to get our answer of 240. so really the box diagram is just a different visual of how to write everything that you wrote here I would like for you in your notes to go ahead and write down 17 times 13. We're going to use the expanded algorithm to solve this problem. So 17 times 13. Well, I'm going to start with everything times my 3. So I've got my 3 and it is in the 1's place, so this one is just a 3. The 7 is in the 1's place, so I write down that. I'm going to go ahead and write down the equations I need to solve first for my 3. So my 3 is still in the 1's place, so it's just a 3 times a 1, but not a 1. That's a 1 in the 10's place, so that would be a 10. Well, 3 times 7 would give me my answer of 21. 3 times 10 would give me 30. Now, I'm not done yet, because I still have to multiply everything times this 1. But again, that's a 1 in the 10's place, so it's 10 times the number in the 1's, which was a 7, and the 10 times the number in the 10's place which was another one, which would mean a one in the 10th place, which is 10. Well, 10 times seven gave me 70, 10 times 10 gave me 100. Now these are all called partial products, so I must add them all together. Well, five, th two plus three gives me five, plus seven will give me 12, I carry my one, so I end up with my answer of 221. Now, I'm going to go ahead and have you, in your notes, complete number one and two today for your guided practice problems. I will be looking to see your answers on these when we go over this in class.